It is almost here, the Dakota Thunder Air Show and Open House at Ellsworth Air Force Base. That's right, it's going to be a great opportunity for the public to see the armed forces showcase the best of the best. Anya Mueller is live at the base with more. Anya, good morning to you. And good morning from Ellsworth. Yes, we are getting so excited for the air show. It is tomorrow and Sunday, so the time is almost here. I am here with First Lieutenant Rachel Allison. She is with the Public Affairs Department here at Ellsworth. Now, Rachel, uh, you guys have been planning this for so long. It's such a huge undertaking. Tell me about the planning. Yeah, so uh, we've been having meetings since about uh, November of 2014, mm -hmm. and it's been a huge process, but we're lo really looking forward to it. Because we haven't had one in so long, there are a lot of things we had to kind of relearn and figure out. Mm -hmm. But uh, f things are falling into place right now. Planes are arriving, crews are getting set up, booths are getting set up. It's going to be a good day. That's right. Just pure chaos right now, I'm sure. Organized chaos. <laughs> Organized, Organized chaos. chaos. There you go. And I was here when the Thunderbirds landed yesterday. I know you were here, too. And holy cats, they're loud. They, so I'm they, thinking, you know, we should bring some earplugs. Between, yeah, between the Thunderbirds and the B-1s and the different aircraft we're mm -hmm. taking off, we do recommend the public, if they want noise protect, or ear protection, we call it, mm -hmm. that they do bring some of their own. Um, but you can wash it without it. We just would recommend you bring it if you want to have that with you. Sure. Yeah. And, and let's talk on the lines of that while we're at it. Um, as far as when you get here, you know, there are some prohibited items. And I know it's probably kind of a longer list. What's the website they can go to? Yeah, our website for the air show is www.ellsworthfss.com. And you can click on the air show banner and that'll take you to the schedule, the maps, the list of prohibited items, and all the information that you need. Okay, but there are things you are actually encouraging people to bring, I'm sure, like sunscreen. Yes, it's going to be very hot those uh, two days, so water definitely tomorrow, sunscreen, uh, sunglasses, yeah, anything that you can make, bring to make sure you're hydrated and protected from the sun. Sure, and, mm -hmm. and a camera, of course, to capture all these moments. Yes, definitely <laughs> a camera. Uh, we are asking people to bring cameras. Uh, not any drones or any uh, planes that could be, you know, remotely piloted aircraft sure. just for the safety of the public and the safety of our aircraft but there are a ton of uh, photo opportunities that you'll be able to take. Absolutely. Now, I know the gates open at 9, um, you know, the show starts at 10. Mm -hmm. What's the best way for people to get here as far as parking and all that? So off of I-90, exit 63 will be the best way for the general public to come on base. Um, we'll have two entrances that way, and pretty much you come off uh, exit 63 from eastbound or westbound, follow the signs, and you'll get here. I remember when I came in 2009, and I did a lot of walking, so I kind of recommend walking shoes. Yes, definitely. <laughs> walking shoes are a must. It's going to be a distance. Thanks for so much for joining us today, Rachel. All right, Lewis, I hope you're in for a sweet ride today. Back to you in the studio.